What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane, and we are back with a little late-night pod review. Now, I got some peppers from a company here, Death Ridge Peppers. See if that'll focus a little bit there. Jacob Death Ridge. They're actually a local company here in Tennessee. Uh, got commented on Facebook. Uh, somebody brought up my name. They were looking for people to review peppers, some pods that they grew this year. I said, yeah, well, I got a YouTube channel. I'm all about reviewing stuff. I ain't done a whole lot of pod reviews, but, you know, I'm starting to step up my game. So they sent me some peppers. They sent me four to review, and then they sent me some to snack on. So we're going to start with the number one on their list. Took the tag off. This is a mustard Wartrix. Like I said, I'm a little new to the pod tasting and reviewing. So this will be the first mustard pod that I've ever had. Uh, they also sent me a Brains X Bootla, a Peach Bootla, and a Caramel Reaper No-Tail. That Caramel Reaper No-Tail is kind of like a chocolate pod is what it looks like. I've never had one of those either. Peach Bootla, I may be doing Wednesday on a live stream, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload when I go live, when I do Snacky Snack Saturday, Saucy Sunday. Did a Saucy Sunday review today, so if you missed it, go back and check it out. But we're concentrated now on this pod review, Mustard Wartrix. I'm going to cut this bad boy open. I am going to get a few seeds out of this. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I wanna take a picture of the inside. I cut the stem off. You can see the mustard color. Cut this bad boy in half. See the insides of that good yellow mustard color to it probably where it gets its name from I like how you can see the differentiation of the the placenta the inside being the green and it's I mean the yellow and it's got the green outer wall kind of a pretty pepper so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of this pepper real quick maybe for the thumbnail maybe for Facebook you never know and I'll be right back. All right, got the pictures taken. Get a little smell. Smells just like a pepper. Got a few of the seeds out. Hope to be growing some of these next year. I'm gonna step up my game. This year I only grew Carolina Reapers, Ghosts, Trinidad Scorpions, and Habanero. Last year I only grew um, Habaneros and Ghosts. So I've been stepping up the game a little bit. Hopefully I'll be growing some, some of these bad boys, some more chocolate varieties, some more different crosses. So enough talk. Let's try this mustard Wartrix from Death Ridge Peppers. I'll put their link in the description box below, guys. Please be sure and go check them out. I'm Saucy Shane. Let's see what this tastes like. I'm trying to come back out. It's got a sharpness to it. Uh, there comes the heat ramping up a little bit. I got it in the back of the throat, roof of the mouth. 
lit up pretty good. I say right now I'm sitting at about a four. My eyes are starting to water just a little bit. Good fresh pepper. Uh, said it had kind of a sharpness, not really a bitterness right at the front, but kind of a sharp, kind of hard to describe flavor. Like I said, I'm kind of new. That's my first mustard pod, so it may be something with the mustard variety. Set her a minute let it see if it gets any higher. Got it on the side of my tongues, my tongue wings, as Brian Ames calls it. Overall, a good clean burn. I'd say I peaked at about a... I'm probably at a five right now. So it probably peaked at about a five. I'm about at a five. I don't feel me getting the heat cups or even the pressure. Sometimes you'll start to, I'll start to feel the pressure building right before I get the heat cups, whether I get them or I don't. I hadn't got that right now. I'd say it's probably I don't know what it's compared to. It's probably compared to some of my I mean it's got a stingy intense heat kind of like a habanero you know just a little bit higher scale than a habanero. Not much of a throat. I got a little bit of a throat tingle going on but it's mostly on the it's making my mouth salivate a little bit. You'll have that with fresh peppers. Um, mostly concentrated on the tip of the tongue. A little bit on the lips. Roof of the mouth. Mostly is where it's concentrating. It's starting to go back down. I'm usually right now at a three. Where I like to be sitting at a good, comfortable, clean burn. All over mouth burn. Good three good pepper i can't wait to get into some of these other ones i don't know how he uh had them numbered if it was a sporadic or if they worked their way up in heat we will find out i know some of the caramel and chocolate varieties are i've heard that they're a little more of an intense burn and it is on the last of the list so but definitely stay tuned for those like i said guys don't forget to smash that thumbs up when you come in uh share it out these guys Definitely can send out flat rate box peppers. Uh, definitely give them a shout. I'll put their link in the description box below. They got email, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. So be sure and check them out. And uh, subscribe to, this, to the channel. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, Saucy Shane. Don't cost a dime. Ring that bell for notification, like I said before, and you won't miss any of these pepper reviews when I do them. Snacky Snack Saturday, Saucy Sunday, live streams. I'm going to hope to get in a routine of going live on Wednesdays. This Wednesday, I'll be going live reviewing one of these peppers. Uh, it will be the Peach Bootla. So I'll hold off on that one until Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. But I love you guys. I hope you all have a safe rest of your night and a great start to your week. I uh, couldn't do this without you all. I'm closing in on 1,000 subscribers. Uh, don't like to say subscribers I like to call it family members because each one of y'all have been just like a dear family member to me and I've thought about quitting several times and some of my really really close family members have pulled me in and talked to me and Told me to keep it going, you know, no matter what and that's what I've been doing. So hard work and uh, Put your nose to the grindstone, you know, no coattails to be rode here and it's just a straight line forward race. We're working on a thousand subscribers, a thousand family members. Couldn't do it without y'all. I hope y'all have a safe night. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. I love y'all. Stay saucy.